If you're new to my channel, I want to welcome you. If you're returning, it's so great to see you again. Thanks for coming back. I really appreciate it. I love to cook, bake, decorate, and share on the many activities going on here at the house. I'm an Eskimo girl from Alaska with the simple dream to live my best life. We are at the grocery store to buy our picnic lunch. We're heading up to Independence Mine. for some sightseeing. This was such a beautiful drive. The fresh air, it was so lovely. The the panoramic views all the way around. I you just cannot fathom how lovely this is. It was like a you drove into a valley of a bowl of mountains all the way around and it was really uh stunning. It was a beautiful day. It was perfect to go up and walk around, sightsee. Um, so I hope you enjoy seeing some of the sights of Independence Mine. Now there's a bunch of structures that have fallen down. There used to be uh, 27 structures and at their peak uh, uh, their operational peak in 1941 they had 204 men that worked for them and they blasted uh, over a dozen miles of tunnels and they produced 34,000 ounces of gold worth 17 million dollars today Well, once we got parked in the parking area, we found some picnic benches and went and enjoyed our lunch and the beautiful mountain vista views. My sister joined us for this hike and we just had a wonderful time and a wonderful visit together. Now they call this house the big house. This is where the manager of the mine lived with his family and uh, they preserved it quite beautifully with some artifacts inside. This is a sample of the refrigeration unit that they used and they just kept ice in there and it kept their uh, meats nice and cold. The front room had a ski lodge kind of a feel to it and they do uh, today use Hatcher Pass for skiing, downhill skiing. One of the buildings had a gift shop set up in it and I love that they had gold pans and shovels for rent. So you could go out and give your hand at gold panning. I remember having an old Zenith radio like this when we were kids. I just loved all of the artifacts. That The way they had the, the rooms set up, it was quite lovely. and. Uh, educational.
this one building at the end of this uh, little pathway is the schoolhouse. And so all of the miners at the peak of operation would have their families with them. And so the children would be able to go to school. So school was always in session for them. Now on this one mountain, you'll be able to see the two mines that operated and they did share some of the resources at the base of the mine. But up high, uh, one mine was named after Martin and another mine was named after Hatcher. Brucey and my sister decided to go for a hike up to the top of the mountain. So while I was doing some filming and walking around in some of the buildings, uh, you'll be able to see some of the footage from the top of the mountain at the end of this video. You can see Bruce and my sister off in the distance hiking up the hill. Now this is a great view of the mountain. To the left of that peak is Martin Mine. To the right is the Hatcher Mine. And this is the dilapidated rail system they used. It was elaborate for its day that uh, delivered some of the goods back and forth to the mines up above.
It's been a number of years since I've been up to visit this mine. I was actually surprised that most of the buildings were still standing and uh, surprised also that they uh, were allowing people still to go up. Uh, you know, it could be quite dangerous for people to try to nav navigate through the uh, mess that's there. And as long as you stay on the trail, it was very safe. the wind was bothering a little bit with the microphone but I just wanted you to hear the beautiful birds and the water and the fresh air was incredible it was such a lovely day now this is one of my favorite buildings it's the Assane building and um, it, it had a lot of neat things inside so I hope you enjoy touring through this I love that they kept so many original things in there from the safe, the shelving for the maps, the furnace. It was uh, really uh, enjoyable to walk through this building. Here I spot Brucey back from his hike and he's coming to find me. It was interesting to see some of the things that they had left out. One of the buildings that w was completely destroyed, but the platform, the foundation remained, and there were thousands of burlap bags deteriorating on it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you'll come back to visit my channel again. Please subscribe so you can get notices when I post future videos to YouTube. Until next time, feel free to send me a note on Instagram or catch me on the web at polycarter.com. Bye! Disney could probably buy the rights to this. Independence Mine Adventure Train Ride.